I don't know if you can see the disgust on my face. The Tom was already on the ground. He was down in there. I guess you can figure out what happened next. Gone. Okay, on today's video, I'm gonna do a product review on a Tideway backpack. This is actually a frame pack. So if you're into hunting like I am, backpacking or camping, stay tuned. I'll give you some more information on this. But I'm gonna go over some of the features here and start off with, I obviously got camouflage for obvious reasons, but this also comes in black. And as you can tell, it's a large pack. This is actually a frame pack. So you got the solid frame here. You got multiple straps or adjustments on these shoulder straps to try to accommodate the load. You also got the hip belt down at the bottom as well. And you've got multiple accessory packs, one on each side of the hip belt and one on each side of the pack. You got the main compartment here. This is actually the 5,500 cubic inch model. So there's a tremendous amount of room in here, for your gear, whatever you're packing into the woods. Also on the video clip that I just showed you, you can attach your bow or your gun to the back. That way you can walk through the woods hands-free. Another good feature are these finger tabs for the zippers. This comes in handy, especially in the wintertime when it starts getting cold and you got your gloves on. No little small zippers to try to grab a hold of with your index and thumb. You can just grab this, pull, open or close the compartment. So that's really good there. Also at the bottom, there's a rain cover. So it, you take the rain cover out and it completely engulfs the entire pack. So if you got something inside there that you don't want to get wet, that comes in handy also. Got a really nice ergonomic design here. It has a cambered bar. It provides a generous amount of space between your head or your neck and the bar. This bar is also adjustable so you can extend the pack if you need to. This helps eliminate neck strain. Also it helps eliminate you from hitting your head on the bar. Another good ergonomic feature are these pads in the back. This is mesh. So if you do a lot of hiking, as I do on National Forest, this helps prevent sweat or reduce the amount of sweat. I still sweat, but this right here helps reduce the amount of heat that's generated on your back. Helps reduce the amount of sweating that you do, which is all, always beneficial, especially in cold weather. But I still recommend walk-in clothes. That way when you get to where you're going, you take those wet clothes off, put your dry clothes on. Yeah, there's just a tip for you. I couldn't find the weight of this pack on the website, so I actually weighed it on my scales, and depending on the action of my scales, it came in at 10.6 pounds. So if those of you who are shopping around on the internet trying to find your pack, that gives you a baseline as far as weight goes to do some comparisons. But as I said before, this is the 5,500 cubic inch, so a tremendous amount of volume, and it's also the external frame pack. So just remember that when you're trying to do a comparison out there. So I used this pack for several months and I didn't use it lightly. I put a lot of items in this backpack. I actually threw this on the ground a few times and during wet conditions and sat on the cushion part right here versus having to sit on the ground. So having said that, I haven't had any problems with functionality. None of the clips are broken and most of these are fairly large or some that are small. I re like I said before, I really like these loops for the zipper compartments. Didn't have any issues with anything on here. Just, I would caution anyone, first time you get into a frame pack, is put it on, get all the straps adjusted while it's empty, not under load. You wanna get everything even because a couple of times I had to adjust because I had at least 40 pounds in this pack. 
and you might get to where the load was uneven, so you gotta adjust it. So it's a lot easier to do that without the load. Another feature on this is the shelf down at the bottom. This is a hauling or a freighter shelf if you're packing out meat. So that helps with the load as well. If this frame pack doesn't fit your need and maybe it's too large or you just need a day pack or something like that, they have other packs available. So this isn't the only backpack offering they have or backpack model. And look at this pack and all the accessories and things that come with it. I think they did a pretty good job. You know, I'd give it, you know, from one to 10, I'd give it a six and a half. You know, I don't think anything's ever going to get a 10. I'm pretty tough on things. I'm very critical on certain things also. And three things that I would recommend that Ty would do to try to improve this is this is going to be used for hunting. You got to have the safety factor in place. I really like the rain cover, but you need to add a blaze orange flap, something that you can take from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top and attach it somewhere where it stays in place. As you saw in that video clip, I actually had a blaze orange safety vest attached to the back of this when you're walking through the woods. And that's even beneficial for campers or hikers, especially if you're out in the woods during rifle season. So number one, you gotta have a blaze orange flat. Number two, cut the weight. 10.6 pounds isn't bad for a pack this size. Like I said, this is the 5,500 cubic inch, but the more weight you can reduce, the more weight we can put in it. And I don't like to skimp on hydration and water weighs quite a bit. So I would recommend trying to reduce the weight. And then the other thing I would recommend is I really like this cambered bar. It served more than one feature for me. I could set this in front and prop it up and use it as kind of a blind, but at the same time I could set my gun here and use it as a rest. So my recommendation here is add a piece of EPDM rubber to this metal bar and that way you can reduce the amount of noise or sound it makes when your gun comes in contact, whether you've got a fiberglass forearm, wood forearm, or whatever the material is made out of. Nice, soft place to put your gun here to use as a rest. I think it's a plus. Price-wise, comes in at $149.99. It's fairly competitive with other models out there. Just like I said, do shopping, compare, make an informed decision. But when you go to the website, make sure you use the 1SH18 and get your 15% off. So that'll help also, especially since it's almost Christmas time. So you can get this as a gift for someone who is a hunter, backpacker, or, or in a camping. So those are my recommendations for this backpack. Uh, like I said, I used it quite a bit. I didn't want to make a review on this after only a few uses. I basically have been using it for two or three months. So go in, take a look at all these features, review all the information that I gave you, make an informed decision, go check out the Tiger website. They've got other backpack models. And don't forget to put in my discount code 1SH18 for your 15% off. That way you've got it ready for Christmas this year. So I hope you liked this video. I hope it provided you enough information where you can make an educated decision on whether to purchase this backpack or competitor's backpack. So don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. And hopefully we'll be in the woods.